the following question reads that uh, you have uh, this molecule over here which has an OH group uh, there's a double bond as well and there's a carboxylic acid group is formed with a little concentrated sulfuric acid and a cyclic compound is formed what is the skeletal formula skeletal formula of the cyclic compound so uh, this is uh, using concentrated sulfuric acid if you focus on the functional groups uh, of this molecule he's not reacting it with any other thing there are only two possibilities uh, uh, what does concentrated sulfuric acid do it either dehydrates uh, to form an alkene or the second thing is that it's used to form esters now a cyclic compound is being formed and you can see that there are lots of ester links over here for example in this molecule you can see a double bond uh, C double bond O and attached next to a carbon between a carbon chain I mean there's a carbon chain on both sides that is what an ester link really is so uh, we're assuming that it's going to form an ester so it has a carboxylic acid functional group it also has an alcohol functional group so the first thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and draw the displayed formula of this molecule so here's my molecule and let's start drawing the displayed formula the first carbon over here if you can see it's a it's a it's a carbon atom uh, with two hydrogens so carbon attached to two hydrogens so it's CH2 and then there is uh, OH is in brackets so that's that means an OH branch is also there so that's the first carbon atom then the next carbon atom is with 1H only so it's 1H and with it there is going to be a double bond you can see a double bond then there's another CH and then the carboxylic acid functional group so it's going to be CH and then you have a carboxylic acid functional group that is drawn over here now we're looking to form an ester with this molecule you can see that there's a carboxylic acid uh, functional group over here on the right side and there's an alcohol functional group on the left side what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to bend it so that these two groups can join with each other and they can form an ester. Now this is how I've uh, I've bent the molecule. Remember, you, if you if you observe carefully, you will notice that uh, everything is the same. It's four carbon atoms, so it's one, two, double bond. Then the fourth carbon atom, the carboxylic acid side is on this side. The OH side is on the other side. So I've bent the molecule so to bring the two two groups uh, in front of each other. The carboxylic acid is going to form. Uh, an ester linkage with an alcohol group and the next thing that's going to happen is uh, the carboxylic acid would lose its OH and the alcohol will lose its H and they would end up joining together uh, this thing would form a water molecule a condensation reaction would happen so I've removed the H and the OH uh, this carbon C double bond O is now bond with this it's now going to bond with the oxygen over here and they're going to end up forming an ester link which is going to be C double bond O and O. So this is my molecule. Let me draw uh, it. Let me bring this closer together and draw it nice, draw it a little bit neatly. So here you can clearly see the ester link. This over here, C double bond O and O is my ester link. And let's now try and compare with the molecules that I've drawn above uh, that are given as the answer. Now this over here is the molecule that we that we have come up with. So we need to figure out uh, which out of these four structure is going to be the correct one. Now the first one is not going to be correct because it doesn't have an ester link. Remember C double bond O should be right next to the single O. So C double bond O is over here. There's this carbon atom over here. But right next to it, uh, there is no single O. It's not directly attached to it. So let's uh, get rid of the first option. Move to option B. So in option B you have a C. Remember the nodes are all carbon atoms. So you have a C double bond O which is right next to O. So it's C double bond O right next to O. And that oxen, that oxen must be bonded to a carbon chain with two hydrogens over here. This oxen over here is not bonded to a carbon chain. It's bonded to a carbon chain which, a carbon which is uh, making double bonds. So observe carefully, C double bond O, the single oxen must be bonded to CH2 and there should be no double bonds with it. So this is also not going to be the correct option. Let's look at uh, option C now. You have C double bond O. Uh, that is attached to single O. And that oxen is attached to carbon with a uh, carbon making single bonds. So it is attached to carbon that is making single bonds. Uh, there must be two. I mean, this is a skeletal formula, so the hydrogens are not shown. So it should be bonded to two hydrogens to complete the bonds. Then you have uh, focus on the C double bond O. That should be bonded to carbon, double bond carbon group. An alkene group, cetyl bond O bonded to carbon, double bond carbon group. So if you compare carefully, 
then this molecule and this molecule, the skeletal formula is exactly the same. So option C is going to be your answer for this question.